just casually strolled in and maybe you don't get how this show works. I want to believe that. I don't, frankly. I know you're I know where you're from, buddy. But let's just assume that you're just a new casual fan, you don't understand. But if you don't understand why I don't milk these losers for an hour so I can set up feuds that don't matter, so I can make money, <laughs> then you don't get the show, buddy. You just don't you don't get what we do around here. This entire show, the foundation of this show is making something out of nothing and then stretching it for an hour. Bean says, pot awful rules. Well, it's not what the numbers say, but okay. Because <laughs> cool dudes live with their parents. Cool dudes live with their... Cool dudes are supporting their podcasting at 30 with their at their parents' house. That's so cool. You know what? I always go, man, that guy who had to who had, who who met his mail order bride in his own fan discord <laughs> and then had to take her to go shack up with his parents. That's so fucking cool, man. He rules. He fucking rules, dude. <laughs> Look, I know I'll do a nine hour stream. Mersh got drunk and embarrassed himself. I know. Mersh also has his own name on a lease for an apartment. <laughs> Mersh also has a credit score that hasn't been fucking run into the ground like a fu like a fucking fictional plane that never hit the Pentagon. <laughs> like that like that plane that hit that field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, seriously. That's that fucking rules. Yeah, dude. I got my own room and check it out. I get the whole hallway bathroom to myself. Pfft, that fucking rules. <laughs> It fucking rules, dude. <laughs> dude, I fucking rule so hard. <laughs> yeah, right. He rules. I would totally, dude, man. If I wasn't doing my own show, that's the show I would watch. I would watch a guy that uh, still living with his babe. I had to go. Had failed at fucking improv. Failed at stand up. Failed at podcasting, and had to had to pack up a bunch of sad boxes in his fucking Brooklyn apartment. Because, you know, like, that's the beauty of it, too. You know, like, the story of, like, the young, idealistic, I'm going to be a comedian. And he moved out to the big city, the Big Apple. <laughs> he moved out to the Big Apple with his dreams and his fucking, his cool, his cool set in his boxes. His little, his fucking Logitech camera and his fucking, oh, man, I can't, where am I going to set up the mic arm? This is going to be so cool. Oh, man, I'm so cool. Like the en It's like going on vacation and coming back from vacation. It's the same energy. When you move to New York and fail in entertainment. <laughs> and by the way, coming from a guy who did it, I also moved to New York and failed at entertainment. It's not even a hypocritical thing. I'm just saying from experience, I know that feeling of when you get into town with the boxes and like... The Friends theme is playing in your head, and you're like, I'm going to fucking, dude, I'm going to take the, dude, I'm going to be so cool. Wait till they get a load of my comedy. And then there's that attitude. It's the same thing of flying to Vegas, right? You fly to Vegas, and you're like, bro, we're going to win so much money and fuck so many whores. Vegas, baby. It's the same energy. You go in, woo, I'm going to take over the world. And then like a couple years later, a couple months later, whatever, you just, you hear the, the packing tape as you're fucking wrapping a box with that same shit, complete 180 energy. It's now just like. <laughs> trying to wrap your fucking stupid fucking $30 fucking mic arm from Amazon. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Mom. I'm not going to leave the boxes when I get there. Relax. <laughs> Wrapping the box. Just, it's never the same attitude, right? They go in. I'm going to take over the world. It's the same way when you go to Vegas. We're going to take over Vegas. And then a week later, you're flying back. Nobody in your group is talking to each other. <laughs> Everybody's just. Hey, did you know when we get it? Don't talk to me. <laughs> uh, 
It's 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 that same. I came in to fuck. I came. I saw. I ate my own dick and balls. <laughs> What's Latin for that? Hey, can somebody find that out for me? What is Latin for? I came. I saw, and I fucking ate my own dick. Find that out for me. We're gonna start speaking Latin around here. Anyway, Momo and Itchy, you're going down. Uh, actually, just go. But to to be fair, uh, it's it's not it's it's section eight. It might be section eight apartment that I pay for. I pay cash every month for it with my money that the fans give me. Listen, I could live. Do you understand? I could live in section eight housing. I could live in an efficiency. I could be living out of an extended stay America that fucking Christopher Dorner lived in, and it wouldn't matter. Any anything is better. Anything is better than this move. Hello? Yeah, listen, hey mom. Um so listen, I know I know. I I I know. I know look. So I know you you and dad said you're not gonna send me money anymore to supplement my my failed improv career. Um, listen, I, me and my very unfortunately, very unfortunately, genetically British looking wife. Um, can we come just for, it's just for a little while. Look, I know you knew what I was going to ask, but that's not, can we not do this now? Look, I'll be out in the streets. Okay. I. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay, in in by eleven, yes. Uh huh. We have to sleep in separate rooms. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Look. Okay. This isn't a good time. This isn't a good time. Okay. So I'll sleep in the one room, and then she'll sleep in the room that I have to set up all my cool CRT TVs, so I can do my show. Yes. Yes, I'm still doing it. You don't just give up on your dreams. Fuck. Are you going to help me or not? Yeah, you're right. My apartment sucks, but I pay for it. Uh, anyway, thank you, Leaf. I appreciate that. Danny, uh, by, well, I was saying about the, the treat thing. So he doesn't like seafood. I don't know that I'm switching off occasionally and giving him. By the way, he's eating like a pig today because he knows I feel bad. So he's milking that shit. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I love the I love the attempts to get my address out there too. I self doxed long ago. You fucking pussies! First of all, there's only twenty of you, and you don't have any money. You you ran out of money on the first. You guys ordered four items of food and ran out of money. <laughs> it's fucking pathetic. Uh, Danny for ten Australian. All cheers to this one. He goes. Uh, it's ten dollars Australian, so I'll read it as an Australian. I want to do this just for funsies. There you go, boys. Just so you do a new thing, I just type my own address into the chat. There you go. So do something else. Do something. Come at me with something new, you fucking losers. Karaoke here for five. Glad it's back to drinking streams. I was feeling like a degenerate, and I have enough problems. That's fair. Uh, Rich for two. Can boys, we all come here for Cat Wave Radio. Look, I love the cat, whatever. God left Clyde behind for five. Fine, here's money for the cat. Stop pressuring me. <laughs> Cyber Taz for five. He went back to being called RoboCop in two at the beginning where he was stalking his ex-wife and they made him tell his ex that Alex Murphy was dead. Well, wait a minute. I thought that was one. I thought he went back to watch the old house. Wait a minute. I got to look this up. I got to, I'm, I, I might, I look, CyberTaz, I trust you. But I feel like I want to call bullshit right now. Um, but, uh, 